Hey there guys, it's YJ. So, so OpenAI had their dev day today and from flying drones right on stage to ordering 400 strawberries using advanced voice mode on the event. It was a wild ride. So I'll be covering all of it. I have read all the blog posts that OpenAI has released and all their tweets. So let's get started. Okay guys, so before starting all of it, there is a good news. So advanced voice mode, as you know, it was uh, rolled out for all ChatGPT enterprise and you know team users and also the plus users but now it is also being rolled out to the free users i mean they will get a sneak peek maybe a very less amount of time but they will have the access so to access that uh, openai said that you have to uh, you have to update your app to the latest version with that being saying look at what openai has released in their dev day okay guys so first up introducing the real time api so this is the blog post that openai has released so you don't have to read the article i have done it for you so the important things are as you can see here it is written today we are introducing a public beta of the real time api enabling all paid developers to build Build low latency multimodal experiences in their apps and as you can see it says similar to chat gpt's advanced voice mode here you currently have six preset voices so the underlying models that will be used is for you know uh, the gpt 4o model they will be using the gpt 4o real-time preview model instead of the common model that we are using currently and for the audio they will be using the gpt 4 audio preview model so these models will be used for the real-time api to you know be real time as it said and the pricing as you can see is mentioned over here it is five dollar per million token for input and twenty dollar per million token for output this is similar to what we have for the you know gpt 40 model but when it comes to audio model it's a bit different it is hundred dollar per one million tokens and 200 dollar per million one million output tokens so uh, this appears to be very high but if you you know convert it into minutes means you can see it uh, turns out to 0 0.06 dollars per minute of audio so with 200 dollars you can generate 13 hours of audio that is raw speech of the open ai advanced voice mode model i think still it's pricier but it will surely come down through distillation so what is distillation we'll be talking about that but before that let's see some reviews of this real-time api so this is the healthify me app and they have an ai coach called ria so now the ria is powered by advanced voice mode so how does that work let's have a look hello ria hey abhijit how's it going going well i'm here with tushar figuring out what to do for lunch all right abhijit here are some delicious and nutritious recommendations for lunch. Ria, एक बात कर यार देख अभी एक बजने वाला है और हम लोग यहीं पे निकलने वाले हैं मिशन बे के आसपास तो कुछ और आइडियाज बताना बिल्कुल अभिजीत सिंस यू आर इन मिशन बे how about exploring some local options so that was healthify so have a look at other demo this is speak and it, it's a language learning app and let's have a look how they are integrating real time api in their application uh, star el bano the word baño is pronounced ba nyo with a soft n sound like in the english word canyon can you try saying that again donde está el baño perfecto El baño está al fondo a la derecha. And the model basically has a lot of the very human-like capabilities of a real human teacher. Like, how amazing is that? So these were some of the demos uh, where we saw the real-time API being used. But turns out that the real-time API also has function calling and tool use. So when you combine all of these, what you get is something phenomenal which was demoed by OpenAI. So check out this sneak peek video that is right from the OpenAI dev day. So here they pin down a particular restaurant, order strawberries from them and all of that is done through the real time API that is the advanced voice mode. Have a look at this. Fort Mason please. There we go, Fort Mason. What do you need help with there? Well, I have a few hundred awesome developers here in the room and I'm thinking they might need a little snack. Um, do you have some chocolate shops around here? Absolutely. Check out Garadelli Square, Elan Strawberries, and the candy store. Great. Can you show me more details about these three places? Details are up. Garadelli Square offers iconic sundaes Elan Strawberry Lane has delectable chocolate covered strawberries and the candy store is your go-to for vintage sweets. Enjoy. 
brilliant. So as you can tell, another example of like pulling details with tools uh, uh, in real time. Now, what's really awesome about the real time API supporting functions and tools is that you can actually call third party APIs. So for example, what if we were to add Twilio's phone calling capabilities onto Wanderlust by using the Twilio API? So I see here the Elon Strawberries location seems to accept AI orders. And so what we're gonna do is like, we're gonna try this live. Hey, Elon Strawberries looks really fantastic. Uh, could you place a call and see if you could get us 400 strawberries delivered to the venue? But please keep that under $1,500. I'm on it. We'll get those strawberries delivered for you. <laughs> Hello. Hi there. Is this Ilan? I'm Romance AI assistant. Hello. Fantastic. Could you tell me what flavors of strawberry mix you have available? Yeah, we have chocolate, vanilla, and we have peanut butter. Four hundred. Are you sure you want four hundred? Yes. I think that'll be around like one thousand four hundred and fifteen dollars with ninety-two cents. Awesome. Let's go ahead and place the order of four hundred chocolate-covered strawberries. Great. Where would you like that delivered? So just to confirm, you want 400 chocolate-covered strawberries to the Gateway Pavilion. Yes, that's perfect. And when can we expect delivery? Um, well, you guys are right nearby, so it'll be like, I don't know, 37 seconds? <laughs> that's incredibly fast. <laughs> cool, you too. So how was that? Pretty awesome, right? So let's move on. So Dev Day was not just about, you know, voice. It was also about vision and fine tuning. So what fine tuning is that, you know, you can train a model to behave in a particular manner by give it, take, giving it a lot of context and training on it. So it, you know, performs in a particular rule or manner. So and also improves its performance in a particular task. So previously it was possible to do only in the text modality, but now you can also fine tune images so as you can see here it is written today we are introducing vision fine tuning on gpt 4 making it possible to fine tune with images in addition to text developers can customize the model to have stronger image understanding capabilities so what are the benefits of it let's directly move on to it so you can see that uh, grab is an app you know which improves image detection and understanding on the road so here you can see this is the image and at the bottom it is written example of a speed limit sign tagged successfully by a vision fine tune gpt o that was incorrectly tagged by the base model so the base model was not able to you know find out this speed limit sign but the fine-tuned model was able to do that so these is some of the benefits one more use case of it is that you know automate improve success rate of desktop bots automating business processes so what it does is that you know they fine-tune the model to understand the ui elements on the desktop as you can see, uh, they have mentioned in this, you know, small GIF. So when they fine tuned the GPT-40 base model, what happened is initially the base model had the accuracy of 16.60%, but that improved to the whopping 61.67%, at most 272% uplift in performance. So this vision fine tuning along with text, you know, vastly improves the usability of these models. And if you look, if you look down in the article, you can see the availability and pricing of these models. So we have talked about the availability and pricing of these models. And you also know the pricing of the top tier models is very high. So what to do about that? That is where our next topic comes in. That is the next release in dev day. That is model distillation in the API. So what is model distillation? As you can see, in simple terms, it is mentioned, fine tune a cost efficient model with the outputs of a larger frontier model all on the open AI platform. So what is the use case of this? For example, you are working in a very particularly, you know, narrow domain. For example, if you're coding just in Python and also in a very restricted domain when it comes to coding or any particular customer agent service. So you don't need 
all that broad knowledge what you can do is you can create custom data sets from the you know the smartest models that is the o1 preview and the gpt40 models and you can create what is mentioned over here as stored completions so stored completion is like you know all of the data that has been generated you know all the prompts and all the responses that can be stored as a data and that can be used to fine tune the smaller models that is the gpt40 mini model or the o1 mini model so when you have fine tuned this model into already these models have a narrow domain of knowledge so if you fine tune it to do a particular task very efficiently so you will be able to get very good performance at a fraction of cost you know the price difference between 40 and 40 mini it is I mean like 40 mini is, is absolutely priceless compared to GPT-40. So this is how you know digital model digitalization helps. So now let's move on to the final thing. So you know the hassle of creating uh, system instructions or system prompt or maybe custom instructions. So it is a bit of hassle you know all those formatting and with the current O1 models as well. And currently OpenAI is also telling that you know it is better that you prompt in very good manner you know it is very structured and all of that it is a bit of hassle so turns out that OpenAI has lifted that hassle from you and taken in there and so what you can do now in playground is that you know uh, instead of just writing the system instructions right by yourself you can let the model write the description for you so for example here you can see i am on system instructions i am on actually i am on OpenAI playground here you can see system instructions is mentioned here if you click this icon here you can see it is written describe what you are using the model for and we will generate system instructions so for example let me type uh, let me type i am making a assistant bartender make it have a our tender persona vibe of speaking and knowledge so let's create this now you can see the system instruction is being created now you can see create a bartender component that speaks with the vibe and the knowledge of a real bartender and here we have steps understand the context use bartender language incorporate knowledge personal touches and also you have examples can you recommend me a good cocktail for summer evening and the response so all of this is done for you so these were all of the things guys that was an open ai dev day i hope i have covered all of the things and if you liked this deep dive on open ai dev day make sure you like this video subscribe to this youtube channel and thank you guys for watching